MedWatch 7 is brought to you by Comanche County Memorial Hospital. Tonight on MedWatch 7, we're checking in with our 6th Annual Spirit of Survival training coach, Mark Bravo. And as we enter week 4 of our training series, he has some important advice about your core, something that also needs training as you're heading for the finish line. Before you start your Spirit of Survival training this week, there's another important ingredient to add to the mix. This week we address a magic bullet to your reaching the finish line safely and successfully core engaged workouts. And according to Coach and Bravo, that involves more than doing a bunch straight. of sit-ups. It's flexibility, it's nimbleness through our center as well as the lower back and hips which make up the core. So how can you, as Bravo says, engage your core? At times with simply old-fashioned own body resistance exercises such as a push-up done on the knees or not on the knees if you do the full-fledged one. It's about engaging through your center, variety of range of motion sit-ups, and a few other unique exercises we'll get to in another segment. Bravo says core workouts do more than just improve overall fitness. They actually help with conditioning, so you can make those long-distance runs and walks safely and effectively. We actually can draw upon, as we're running, at higher intensity or longer distance. If you've never done a 5K or half of a marathon or the half marathon you're aspiring to spirit of survival, this can really help. Strengthening your core should be done in addition to running and walking this week. Bravo breaks down that part of our training for week four. We hope that where the 5K is concerned, we have approached two miles, maybe a bit more than that for the half marathon relay if we're at around three to four miles safely and again remember the conditions outside you've got to respect them and for the half marathon you want to be at six to seven miles for your long effort but if you aren't exactly at this point in your training bravo says it's okay just adjust it to a level that you feel comfortable with mark bravo for spirit of survival 2011 and you can register for a race, print out training templates, watch these segments, and more by logging on to spiritofsurvival.com. You can also join the free SOS training program. It's held on Saturdays at Elmer Thomas Park at 7 a.m. And don't forget to save the date for the 6th Annual Spirit of Survival. It's set for Sunday, October 16th at Elmer Thomas Park. For MedWatch 7, I'm Terry Armstrong. MedWatch 7 has been brought to you by Comanche County Memorial Hospital. For transcripts, click on the MedWatch link at kswo.com or go to ccmhonline.com.